Welcome Lightbringer, as you know every wizard must have his own wizard tower and today I will tell you what to do in this tower, cause when I first enter it I was a little bit confused and I believe you will be confused also. So it will be a good idea to see my wizard tower guide. And friends, like this video and subscribe to see more videos about Empire of Ember. And let me tell you how everything is settled here and what to do. Do you hear this annoying knocking? Oh, it's coming from this door with a lion head. And what does this door do? It's a way to your throne room and that's a place where you will get a lot of quests. So when you hear this noise, it will be a good idea to visit this door and get quests. Let's go and see what else do we have. And we have this table and it's very important. Cause this table will allow you to actually build your city. Let's do it. And now you are in city building mode and it's a very important and huge part of this game. Cause all these buildings is very important. They will help you to progress in the game. Actually you will need to build them. So let's start with the market. But this video is about my lovely wizard tower and maybe I will release video about building and construction later. But for now, let's go back. Now it's time to learn where these stairs down lead, so let's go and use them. And here we are, just inside our lovely city near our magic tower. And do you remember I built the market? And here it is. So this is the way out. You can actually exit your tower and walk around your city. And later in the game this city will be beautiful, of course, if you build it beautiful. For now I have only farm and market and nothing to see here, so let's go back to our magic tower and continue our tour. Of course, Lightbringers is powerful mages, but you're nothing without an army. So let's go here to the sword and shield. And this is our army management screen. And yes, it can look complicated, but everything is pretty simple here. This is our resources we can spend on our heroes, on our warriors. And this is the warriors we already have, they are built and ready for action. And one very important thing, you can see your army limit. It depends from leadership, your level, from buildings, you will get it. So this screen is actually a warriors we can recruit, build. I can only build a farmer right now, but you can see to build an archer you will need a blacksmith. Level 3, oh my god, too high. So let's build a farmer, just click on it and it will appear in this screen. Building requires some time and later in the game this will be your garrison. And now most important screen here is a master. Actually this is the warriors you can take with you during your journeys. To do that simply drag them here, drag and drop, nothing too complicated, everything very simple. And now this warrior will go with you when you go into the journey. And by the way, do you ever pay attention to your bookshelves, potions and filters? Hmm. And this book is Chimeras and Magical Species. <laughs> oh my god. And friends, I have a question for you. You see this skull? What is your idea? Who this skull belongs to? Maybe to a dinosaur, to dragon or just to giant rat? Write me your ideas in comment section below. And let's continue. And let me ask you what major you without a new spells, but how to get them? For that you will need this little desk. It will allow you to unlock a new spells, a plenty of them. 
But to unlock them you will need the ember. And how to get this ember? You will get ember every time you level up. So just level up, get some ember and then go here and unlock a new and beautiful spells. Now let's talk about items. From the beginning you have very bad and very weak items. But where to get better one? Let me show you. To get better items you need to construct market first and then just go to this chest and open it. And now you have classical trading screen. This is your items, this is merchant items and you can just simply buy them. Head on a stick. <laughs> That will be one of my favorite weapons, definitely. I think you will have no problem with this game, cause everything is pretty simple. You can sell, you can buy. That's it. Let's continue. And now we have most important part of this wizard tower and it's resting. Yes, resting here is very important. For that we will need these stairs and let's go. And here we can see three different type of activities. Enchant. You can do it anytime. It will give you slight bonuses during your next combo. And you can have only one activated. Let's choose more damage. Yes, let's choose that one. And now we have one enchantment. But how to get better enchantment for that you will need alchemy. And here is the thing about alchemy, to use all this very powerful enchantment you will need a spell books. Yes, to use the first one 5 spell books, second 20 spell books. And to use regeneration, a very useful and extremely unbelievably powerful enchantment you will need 30 spell books. But where to get that spell books? Let me tell you. Of course, you can build a library and get some spell books, or you can go into the dungeon and use this research to get spell books. But it will cost you money, 50 gold. Let's go. And here we have some kind of mini game. It's pretty very easy. You see the dice and numbers on them, and number represent what you can find in dungeon. So just leave the good ones like 6, 5 and reroll the other. And it will cost you. So now we can get 18 spell books. Perfect, let's accept it. And we got a quest Forgotten Dungeon. And if we explore this dungeon, we will get the books and will be able to spend them on alchemy. But where to find this dungeon? Let me tell you. You see this portal? This is our getaway to the world, to very dangerous and furious world we need to explore. So let's go. Here we can choose a weapon, choose the spells we can take with us and just let's press travel. And here we are, can you feel this fresh air, the spirit of adventure? And there is one thing I want to tell you, there are no journal in this game and you actually can't see all quests you have, but what you can do is to zoom out and see this is the quest we need, this is a scenario, campaign quest. But what is that? Some kind of forgotten dungeons? And yes, this is a dungeon we unlocked during our rest while researching and playing that minigame. And your reward is depend on what dice roll for you. But you will get a very interesting stuff here and of course a lot of spell books that you need for alchemy. And now, my young Lightbringer, I think you know everything you need to know about your own wizard tower. So if you like this video, like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more interesting videos about Empire of Ember. And I will see you in next video, friends. See you! By the way, what is this skull? It was belonged to.